Hi, I'm John. This is Carl with the Four-Eyed Cuda, and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to finish up installing the max jack. I just have the hydraulic lines to run, put the arms on, and bleed the hydraulic uh, cylinders. So it shouldn't be too bad, but let's walk through it. Okay, so here's my hydraulic unit that I showed you last time, and I've put one on already. Um, you just th use a little thread sealant that it comes with, put the uh, quick connect fitting on, and this one is sealed, as you can see. This is the female side, and the male side is on the jack, so this just plugs right in. And then here at the fitting, you can see that this just threads in. So again, another dot or two of thread sealant, tighten it up, and we're good to go. So I will do this one, put a little thread sealant on, take the little yellow cap off right there, and that just turns. Mine are finger tight, but if you can't get yours finger undone, it does have a hex head to be able to take that off. So time to put that on, hold on. Okay, so my tip is to coil it up like this and that way when you're turning it, this with your 19 millimeter open end wrench, you can turn you can turn the whole thing as it goes around. That's the best way. I found to do it if you're by yourself. If you have a friend or a buddy helping you, then as you're turning this, they can be turning the hose to keep the tension off of it so it doesn't try to coil up and bind on you and, and work its way out. But that's the best way I found to do it by yourself is to coil it. That way you can hold the coil in one hand, use the open end wrench in the other, and tighten it up and turn the coil as you work it. So might as well add fluid while we're here. And I'm not going to show that because you don't need to see me, you know, pouring fluid into a bucket okay so the pump is i've got the lines temporarily run they've got these nice dust caps on them you just take it off the male take it off the female and push it until it clicks and you're done okay so i got the first arm on so how did i do it so I read the directions, I tried to follow the directions, I finagled with the directions. So let me tell you how I did it. These, a 9mm Allen head, it's not really focusing for me, but you get the point. Loosen those three up, I greased up both pads, this pad on the bottom and this pad on the top because they go inside. That would take care of that. And then I greased up this pin that goes all the way through. I just used some silicone grease, white lithium grease, or anything that way would probably work just fine. And then it's just a matter of trying to get that pin through all four holes. This top hole, the top hole of the arm, the bottom hole of the arm, and then the bottom hole of the holder. For the lift it takes a little finagling and that's why you have to loosen these so that you can uh, line everything up and once that's done it will go in it will just takes uh, a little bit of doing so i will do this one um, i'm not going to show the other side because they should all be the same now i figured it out with the first one i told you how to do it on this one so it's just rinse and repeat all right, so here are the safety lock mechanisms. You can see that the spring goes on top of the bar on each side. This lifts up to release and let the lift lower. And it goes up like this. And then as it reaches those safety locks, this clicks into place and locks it. If you want, take a snapshot of this if you're going to do it because the instructions for how this is supposed to work are a little flaky so I had to go online and find a picture of one that was already completed and then make mine look like it don't know what to tell you so here's the warning label it tells you here's these little black safety locks and this red block which is this thick part here you know that is what connects on and holds the weight 
So if the hydraulic system were to fail, it would just land on these locks and keep you, you know, safe or safe-ish. And it's going to fall one lock, but it should be good from that standpoint. So that's it. The only other thing I did was bleed the system. And that is you lift it up. There's a little Allen uh, screw here. You loosen it. It's a five millimeter. Give it a loosen. Watch the air escape and the bubbles. And once that stopped, you tighten it down. I did that twice and we were good to go. And the first time I went through the procedure, I had some trouble. So I called them and they had me blow the lines out with air to make sure that there was no blockages. Nothing came out, but after reassembling it, it worked great. So I don't know if there was some surface tension on the inside of the line and blowing it out with air caused the oil to fully coat the inside and allow the oil to flow or what, but whatever it is, it worked. So it's in, it's there, there's that, there's that, Mr. Pressure Washer. Um, I marked my center line. These little blue tape marks are uh, the center. So now I just need to create a concoction that'll allow me to drive up into it centered so that I uh, know exactly where I'm at. And that's the process. Thank you very much. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you very much. Talk to you later. Bye.